and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Fallon was telling me he's planning this surprise for Emma's birthday. Ed is? Yeah, to help cheer her up. Oh, do tell Kirsty. What's he doing? Oh, I can't. Oh, go on. I'm not likely to say anything to Emma, am I? I mean, I can't because I don't know either. Oh, I see. Sorry, Lillian. It's a surprise. That's all I know. Will you be there at the ball on Wednesday? Definitely. Then I'll want a full report afterwards. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> well, I, I do hope we can expect to see you at our cantering on event at the stables. Oh, we need your support. I would, Lillian, but... <sighs> Not you as well. It's the fate. Yeah, I know it's the fate. I keep getting told it's the fate. And if there was any way I could be with you... Well, there is. I would, of course I would. Choose us. But I promise joy. But it's a simple choice. Cantering on over the fate. We fix the date first. Yeah, but I told Joy I'd help. I'm not just going to the fate. I'm helping to run it. You know, you're the latest in a long line of people abandoning us. Oh, Lillian, don't say that. I really do have to go to the fate. Mm, I know, darling. I'm on my way to a meeting about it now. <sighs> Do you know, I can see this being a disaster for us. No one turning up at all. People will, though. After all we've been through, locked down for weeks, and we've come out on the other side. Or at least I thought we had. Until this. Ah, look. Bookings into October. Not at all bad, are they? Not bad, no. But I'm likely to improve. Each good booking, if it goes well, can produce three or four more, just on word of mouth. <laughs> you see this, Lillian? Yeah, I can see it. And here. <laughs> Projected profits for the summer quarter? Not spectacular, but given what happened, they're uh, more than OK. Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right, Justin. But cantering on was supposed to improve business, boost our profile, and now it's going to have no impact at all. Oh, I wouldn't say that. The whole of Ambridge will be at the blessed fate. Uh, but a lot of our customers come from further afield than Ambridge. They'll turn up for us. Mm, yeah, maybe. No, 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 more than maybe. We've taken some blows and we've got back up again. Carlotta's doing a wonderful job, isn't she? The whole team is. Uh, mm, I suppose so. So, the way to look at this event is as a celebration. A, a celebration of our resilience. Our capacity for survival, yes? Mm, all right. Yes. Yes, Justin. <sighs> Aunt Lillian? Oh, Justin? Alice! I thought I'd better knock. Oh, hello, Alice. You weren't really expecting me. Oh, how lovely to see you, though, darling. Back where I belong. Yes, of course, and, uh, and and we can't wait to have you back here at the stables. <laughs> well, here I am. You mean... Back at work and ready to get started. But, but now? Well, not this minute, no. Sometime this week. That's why I'm here, so we can fix up my return. There you go. Oh, Joy, what's this? Cheese twists. For the fate? No, no, for us to sample. No, Linda, not a sample to eat now. Now? Oh, how lovely. Well, this is most generous, Joy, but might it not be better after our meeting? Oh, I just thought, you know, well, I'm not waiting till any other business. I'm tucking in now. <clears throat> well, shall we make a start, then? Yes, I suppose we'd better. Plenty to be getting on with. And some progress made, wouldn't you say, Kirsty? Hmm? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think Mick's been doing that. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch oh. that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I was just going to say, Mick's been doing a lot of the practical stuff. That's right, he has. In a very unfussy way, you know, just getting on with it, which is fantastic. Oh, he loves it, Mick does. Just give him something practical to do and he's in his element. Mm. Is there an agenda? An agenda? You mean for now? A printed agenda, so we know what we're covering. Oh, yes, well... And thought... to which we can add items if anything's missing. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we know what we have to do. 
Well, I thought the main thing for today is who's running which stall. Yeah, good idea. Although, first things first, Joy, perhaps we ought to follow up on the clash of dates with the stables event. Oh, of course. Has there been any more reaction from the stables? Actually, I saw Lillian on the way here this morning. Oh, yes. Yeah, she was quite upset about it. Really? Well, she's afraid everyone will be coming to the fete and their event will turn out to be a damp squib. Oh, dear. She's right. People will favour the fete. That's a shame for them, though, when they're trying to attract folk back. I can't help wondering whether there's something we could do so that both events are a success. Oh, yeah. In fact, that question's easily answered, Joy. Is it? It's no. No? No. There's absolutely nothing we can do about it. I'm just wondering, Alice, there's really no need to rush into this. I'm not rushing, though. Well, this time last week you were, well... Um... I was still in rehab. Mm. You can say it, Justin, but now I know I'm ready. So it all went well. Rehab? Mm. Well, I did what I had to do. I'm back on track. Well, I think that's wonderful, darling. I really do. And, and I, I'd love you to start work again. You sure about that, are you, Auntie Lillian? Well, yes, darling. Yeah, of course I am. I mean, you don't exactly sound it. Oh, no nonsense. We're, we're just concerned about your health, aren't we, Justin? Of course. And that has to be the priority. It is the priority. We, 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 we don't want to set you back. Look, why not do this in stages? You feel ready to come back, so come back. But, you know, step by step. In stages? Hmm. Ease yourself back in. A sort of phased return. Phased return? Yeah, that could work. It might be better that way. So I really don't think there's any more to be said on the matter. Well... It's unfortunate that the dates are the same, but there we are. There's no possible solution, and we want to move on. But if we could think of a solution... Well, we can't. Well... Can you think of one, Kirsty? Not at the moment. No, then we've wasted enough time on I this. I can. You can what? Think of a solution. It's just come to me. What is it? Well, we're on the village green, aren't we? And they're at the stables, so we're not exactly miles apart. We could set up some sort of vehicle to travel between the two. Oh. A vehicle? Yeah, like a pony and trap. There's bound to be a trap somewhere in the village... Or a small cart or something. And it shuttles between the two events. Flat rate for a journey. 50p single. Oh, no, hang on. Great, oh. that's a lovely idea. We could even have a brewer's dray. No. Even better. We could carry more passengers that way. I think it could work. No, no, I'm sorry. It won't. Why not? Well, apart from all the practical objections. Uh, which are? Health and safety for a start. Oh. But there's a moral dimension that rules it out absolutely. Is there? Well, you just think for a moment. The fate is a charitable endeavour. Always has been. Especially this year, it's the cost of living fate. And the stables, well, the stables is out and out commercial. Its purpose is to make money. Oh, it's more than just that, surely. It's simply unacceptable to cart our customers up the road to spend their cash at the stables. It'll be two-way traffic, though, Linda. The stables will also come to us. That's right. It'll probably even out between the two. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we won't be doing it. And really, we ought to move on to a proper consideration of the things we actually will be doing. Not yet, we don't. No. I think we should put the idea to the stables first and see what they say about it. Joy, I have just explained we won't be doing it. I heard what you said, Linda. But I believe you asked me to take over the running of this fate. That is what you said, isn't it? Well, yes. That's what I'm doing, then. If I'm running things, the final decision is mine. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I... Lately, there's been a few too many decisions made by the wrong people. So, do you want me to continue organising the fate? <clears throat> yes, Joy, I do. Thank you. In that case, Kirsty. Yes, Joy. Will you see Lillian on our behalf? Yeah, of course. Tell her what we're suggesting. Find out what she thinks of it. I should imagine she'll be delighted. I still don't think it's a good idea. Your objection has been noted. Thank you, Linda. If the stables go for it, are you prepared to organise it? Me? Yes. Well, I'd rather not. 
Fair enough. Anything but, in fact. Then you'd rather take on litter management. Litter? Management. Vital contribution. We'll need a firm hand on the tiller. Can we put your name down for that? Alice is looking well, don't you think? Yeah, look, you do realise she can't work here again, don't you? Oh, don't be so melodramatic. No, no, honestly, Lillian, it will be a hammer blow to the business. That's ridiculous. You think? With the damage done to the stables already? <laughs> it's not all down to Alice. And the chances of more. The lockdown because of the strangles outbreak wasn't her fault. And that's been our biggest setback. Oh, Lillian, we've lost customers because of Alice. Word's gone round. Would you trust her with your horses? Would you trust her with your child? Oh, yes, I am aware of that. But we should be challenging those opinions now, not caving into them. And she's still planning to plead not guilty when she goes to trial. Which means she has a prison sentence hanging over you her. You heard what she said. She's straightening herself out, and I believe her. It's sad. Of course it's sad. But what other business would load itself with risks like that? <laughs> OK, then. What was all that about a phased return to work? Well, I had to say that. Why? Well, to buy time. Or is it just another of your underhand attempts to get rid of her? It's not underhand. Of course it is. You let her believe you'd welcome her back. That's not fair. I had to. It was cruel, Justin. No, it was necessary. Necessary? No, oh, you'd rather I told her straight out. <sighs> I would rather you discussed it with me first. Oh, exactly. Offering a phased return means we can do that. We have to be pragmatic about this, Lillian. We have to have a strategy. Mm. To get rid of Alice? Yep, yep, for the good of the stables. I I think we have to do that, yes. Mm -hmm. And what about for the good of Alice? Shouldn't that be part of our thinking? Oh, well, yes, of course. She is at her best working with horses. You saw her. Being here is a key to a proper recovery. Uh, of course that's of prime importance. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. But how does risking the business help her? We can't afford to pay those odds, Lillian. If we can persuade her to leave... You will not do that. But if she leaves of her own free will, it'll be all fairly painless. And if she decides she's not doing that? But then we, we have to find another way. <laughs> you mean actually sack her? As a last resort, yes. Mm, I can't believe you're still trying this. You can't just sack her, Justin. You know that. You'd have to have proper grounds, evidence she'd mismanaged, and there really isn't anything. Well, that's a matter of opinion. And you would have to produce copies of official warnings, wouldn't you? Huh? First warning, dated. Written warnings, all dated. Have we got any of those things on record? Uh, you know full well we haven't, because there was no need for it. Alice managed this place and managed it well. She deserves a second chance. A second chance? How many chances has she had already? You will not force her out, Justin. I know my niece and she won't back down. And you can't sack her. So you'd better get used to the idea. Alice will be coming back to work at the stables with or without your approval. Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. First. Okay, and, and these, are, these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production? Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, that's... I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community. At whatever